Hello, welcome to Researching an Idea. In the last video, we talked about coming up with ideas and topics for the news. In this video, we'll talk about different types of articles or television news segments. We'll also talk about different sources journalists use for information. When you open up a newspaper, are all the stories the same size? Are they written in the same style? No. The type of story depends on your topic. First, we'll talk about news stories, investigative journalism, and human interest stories. The most common type of article is called a news story, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's an article or segment of television news that gives just the facts of an event. For example, a news story that covered a tornado would give the most basic information of that story. The time the tornado appeared, the places it hit, the damage it caused, and the people it affected. A news story should be objective and therefore should not include the journalist's opinions about the government's ability to provide safe places for citizens or reviews on products to buy to help prepare for an emergency event. A news story is the simplest and most often the shortest type of story, just the facts. The second type of article is called investigative journalism. In this type of story, journalists work for months or even years on one problem that needs extra research. These stories are not about a single event, but more often about an issue that affects the public. Investigative stories are usually much longer in length than a standard news story. Topics range from government spy programs to water quality concerns or workers' rights. Often sources in investigative journalism choose to be anonymous. Lastly, the final type of article is human interest journalism. Human interest stories focus on a person or people as a way of talking about a current event. This type of story brings an emotional side to a larger issue. It could give a voice to the voiceless related to the journalistic principle of empowerment. For example, a human interest story may follow one immigrant family and talk about their journey as a way of talking about immigration laws. Or a human interest story could focus on one soldier as a way of talking about war. After a journalist knows their topic and story type, they can start to research their idea. Generally, journalists use more than one source when writing an article. Let's take a look at gathering sources. The biggest part of researching your story is gathering sources. There are two types of sources, people and information. Let's talk about people first. People sources can be eyewitnesses, we talked about that in Unit 1, or experts in a particular field. For example, if journalists are writing an investigative story on water quality in a city, an eyewitness is a person living in that town who experienced the change in water quality. Journalists could also interview a water quality scientist or government official who makes decisions and laws about water. Information sources are documents that contain background information on a subject. For our example on water quality, an information source might be the test results from water sampling or an email about possible health risks. So once journalists decide what type of story they're writing, they need to decide who to interview and what documents will provide the best information. To summarize, we've talked about news stories, investigative journalism, and human interest stories. We also talked about using different types of sources to find information for your story. In the next two videos, we'll talk about how to take this idea and the research you've done and pitch it to a news organization.